Hello again, this is Delta Climber coming to you from Delta Climber Studios and Roblox and World Zero. I have a little tip I wanted to share with you guys dealing with how to get your battle pass done pretty much quickly or automatically. Of course, you go to tab down here and there's the battle pass. And the battle pass definitely we got a new battle pass out this is the spring battle pass and you go ahead and you pay for the premium track if you want the stuff on the bottom otherwise the free stuff is all you will get and as you can see I have gone through all of my battle pass except for the last the last rank which is rank 39 I believe it is to 40 39 to 40 so let me show you what I do. Uh, first of all, you have to, if you want the premium, you have to pay for it, or otherwise you get the free. Then you'll need a bow. Now the reason why you need a bow is because I'm going to show you where I go to finish my battle pass. Go over here to the frontier grasslands, or you can fly across on the blue stream there. There's a lot of different places you can do this. Some people park their character here and shoot these uh, gladiator goblins, but I found that the Kyrian, the Kyrian deliver well as far as battle pass. Well, it looks like somebody is fighting. She likes to use the lion, the white and blue lion, white lion with blue spots, because it puts this shield around you. I like Squiddy because it has heal. Now, when you run down this path from the Son of Igneous Battleground, there's a bush and a tree, and you get right about here in the bush and the tree, and I start shooting these guys. Because this is a dead spot that none of them run up here and will, except for that one right there. That one right there can come up and put that on you, but all the rest of them, it's out of their running range. And I can survive one doing it. So you sit here and you wait until you get enough of those battle pass coins, those are flowers whatever they are, until the battle pass is done. And what I'll do is I'll come back when we're through and show you what we get. A few moments later, a few minutes later, a few inches later, 12 seconds later, three days later, three weeks later, many months later. All right, we're back. We're here still at this little spot fighting the Kyrian. It hadn't been... 20 minutes or so, but I wanted to show you guys uh, a couple of little tips that you could use on any floor with any mobs. And now I'm speaking from an archer because uh, Berserker and Paladin, you guys are going to go out there and touch them with the sword. But like right here, if you can keep an object between you and the monster you're uh, fighting, then he can't get to you. And there's a weakness with the Kyrian, and like I say, you let him run up here, and then just before he lays his traps down for lightning to come up out of the ground or whatever, you can move to the side. You can also, if you're a lower level, you can back away from him a little bit. Oh, double team. Just don't panic. Just keep moving around. That's the thing about an archer is you can shoot while you're moving. Another thing you can do is get up in these little trees. Now, not all trees can you get up in. And some of them are harder to get into than others. But I have been up in a tree before. And you can get up in those little trees on those low-hanging limbs and fight monsters. Keep something between you and the monster. I like to do that with bosses, but you got to be careful because like some things you can actually go through. If you can go through it, the boss can go through it. 
And in some cases, if you can, can't go through it, the boss can still go through it. But these Kyrian, just as soon as they get to you, you move to the side. And you can keep moving. Along this trail here, again, you can get to where they can't come over. See that one still? That's the only one. Of these four, this, this place right here between this bush and that tree, there's four of them there. And see that one? He can't come up here. It's out of his little programmed range. That one, he'll come up here and he'll go back because that's out of his range. So, with the Kyrian, now these are 95s. If you're like a uh, 90 up here, messing with the Kyrian, just remember to move over to the side. And don't try not to get double team. Get something between you and the other monster. Or you can even get up into a, a tree. Oh, there we go. Up in a tree. And you can shoot them. Now again, this is one of my this is one of my favorite spots as far as uh, getting the battle pass because the Kyrian's 95 and it does drop the battle pass tokens. In this case, they're like little bundles of flowers or something. Like those, those are weeds. I don't know what they are. Stickers, flowers, I don't know. But there are other places I want to show you real quick that you can go to on this other bunch of land across the way. This is coming from the Son of Ignis Battlefield across the Blue Stream. Here, these are all Guardian. They're not or, sorry, gladiator, goblins. They are not, um, those armor are over there. The armors shoot a laser beam out of the end of their sword like a paladin does. These guys drop things too, those battle pass things. So you can be, you can get here. Now again, with these armored, you're gonna have to move or they will toast you. So with the armored, you have um, everybody who go moves up. Let's say that you're doing prestige and you have to come back up from zero or one, rather, level one. Then you get back up here and you have to battle these guys. They just go in a circle. When they stop and they set up to shoot their laser beams, they are aiming in that they don't lead you like when you're really hunting. If you're shooting a bird in the air, you have to shoot a little in front of the bird for the shot to meet the bird to, to kill them. These guys, they just set up, they just stop, and then boom, they'll, they'll shoot and they'll be shooting behind you every time. Let's see if I can cut up this wall here. There's a little pathway there where you can come up. This is where the Minotaur is at the top of that tower. But this is a very good place people like to level up here. You can get either in the tree here or you can get on top of a torch. <clears throat> and you see there's a lot of people here. A lot of people are here. Here's people come here to fight in person. They don't want to AFK battle. But it's still a good place. These more of those little battle passes if you have the red goblins red whatever what are these things called red I do not know where they are this place is usually full of red here they are here it is really you can get up if you can get up there that's a good place because they can't get up there. Gargoyles. Boy, oh boy, senior moment. But the red gargoyles, there they are. Again, ranger advantage. You can keep moving. 
and do a circle around them. I call this corralling the monsters. Circling the wagons, corralling the monsters, get them all in there, and then do your ricochet shot. And uh, you can kill them. You can throw the little light ball and then rain arrows down on them to kill them. And here again is a good place to drag these all in here so that these guys who are camping can have good luck. Get these scorpions off of me and they get the kill and the drops. And so do I. All right, no fall damage in this game. So now I gotta keep moving or these guys will toast me with their blue laser beam. Got them corralled. I'm gonna shoot my ricochet shot. And that did, they did them in, did them under. On the other side of this pillar that leads up to that bridge where we were, there are more armored. Get them all corralled in the middle. You can throw your bomb in there. You can rain arrows down on them. And I keep going in a circle to keep them in the middle. And there we have armored goblins. So if you're doing the battle pass, um, you need to find a place that's safe that you can farm for quite a while. Oh, guys jumped up awful quick. I guess I'm a little laggy here. Get them all in the middle. Shoot the ricochet shot. Did I shoot the ricochet shot? Yeah, I guess so. It does more damage, plus it bounces off of them. And yeah, some of these other monsters, they do give the tokens for Battle Pass, but the Kyrian drop more, as far as I know, from what I have seen. So up, up and away, I see somebody down there trying to fight a couple of people. Had I but known. So I'm gonna go back, there's the bush, here's the tree, right about in here, and start beating up these things again. There's some, five more. So these guys drop them, five or 10. Oh, somebody else up here. Oh, that's that same person. Maybe she is, or he is trying to do, do their battle pass. Mine is almost done. I imagine I am pretty close, ugly close. Didn't move really quick enough on that one. That's five more. Oh, and now I get the warning here. The little red dot down here on the tab means that I have, it's an alert. Hey, you got something going on in inventory or in the battle pass. Battle pass is shaking. There it is. We have finally finished the battle pass. I'm gonna go ahead and claim that. Whatever that is, that is the nature's armor. It's just cosmetic, it's not a real armor. And then what we've all been waiting for, Peter the Rabbit, as a mount. So I go down to B, go to cosmetic. Oh, Peter Rabbit. And then 
Z is how I get on my mount. And there we have it. This is Delta Climber coming to you from Delta Climber Studios World Zero on Roblox with old Peter Rabbit. Oh, yes, we're laggy. We're laggy because Peter Rabbit's not supposed to jump without kicking his feet first. Jump, Peter. I'm going to restart this computer and come back on. Make sure my store is open and selling. Let's see what we've got here. Go back. Yeah, I'm not doing much selling here. I was on floor seven because I was working on... I was working on my battle pass. Now the battle pass is complete. Oh, Peter Rabbit and I. Let's see. Is he a fast mount? He's not the fastest. To me, the wolf. I have two white wolves. I mean, both of them are my other characters. And the reindeer are the fastest to me. But uh, there are some that I do not own, and I'm sure that there are some that are faster. I only need one more staff to be able to make my zero staff to put in my store to sell. The Staff of the Deep. And it just happens to be one of those dungeons that I cannot solo by myself because there's a time limit on it. And I always get Davy Jones so close. And then either a barrel will get me or time will get me. So when you get to the Nightmare Dungeons... There are time limits on them. Actually, the time is ticking away in the lower left corner if you do a nightmare. And being a solo player, it makes it quite difficult indeed. I like old Peter Rabbit here. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Hippity hoppity, Easter's on its way. An old song from the 1960s and 70s when I was a youth. Heaven help us. People come, and yes, they do. They come, and they'll start there and work their way around, and I want them to see my shop soon. This is Delta Climber. Hoping you guys have a great time playing the game. Play it straight. Until next time, Arrivederci. This has been a Delta Glimmer Studio production. All right, guys, I'm about to let you go. But I wanted to show you guys. Now, as far as my sales goes, I have the best luck on World for some reason. These people are eager to play on World 4 and World 5. Yes, Peter. Peter Rabbit. I cannot see because of your big rabbit head. Very colorful here on World 5. Kind of cartoonish, but I like the mountains. Ooh, Lord of the Rings tower there. Big castle, not Walt Disney. Walt Disney has issues. Aha, I'm going to try and move my shop up one place. The son of Ignis here. Oh, there's just nobody fighting this thing anymore. Yeah, two little archers. We're not going to be able to finish him off. Honey bunny boo. Honey bunny boo. Almost got incinerated. But we are two level 100 archers. And we are just not going to be able to finish this thing off quick enough. The time limit is when the next event shows up. It's shortly, well, it, it ends this event just shortly before. 
We don't even have them halfway yet. And I came to the party late. Sorry, honey bunny boo. He's going to rain down fire usually. him halfway yet and when you get him halfway he goes to cheating you have to get outside this circle here oh honey bunny boo because if you're inside that circle when he comes down and mm, are you kidding me that's what happens he absolutely incinerates you Apparently there's fire on the ground that you can't see. Uh oh. I wait till the circles appear and I start running. Otherwise they will chase you and cover up the whole ground, especially when you have a lot of people fighting here. If you have a lot of people fighting, I usually wait until the circles show up. Yeah, there's the next event. No, there's no way we can do that. About three people. I've done it with three people before. Two people, not enough. Because right now he starts cheating. He starts taking off and... And don't even run back in there. See Honey Bunny Boo over there. Down he comes, in we go. Let's see how much damage we can get done here. There he goes again. Circles show up, I start running. And that way, it doesn't spread to circles all over the place. You can't do any damage when he's in the air. See now, it, when you get down to the end of time here, he starts cheating increases his fly, which means you've got to finish him off even quicker. And that's probably a fail there. Yeah, we threw with him. He's not coming back down. So. Here's a person just sitting there. All six of my arrows off my back. That takes me down to five quarters, but oh, overweight's not even trying. There's a couple people. Or three people. If uh, overweight over there would come on, we might actually defeat this thing. There he goes. He's just going now. There's been a glitch here lately. I've restarted my computer and I've left and come back, but you can't see his fire that he rains down. But if you get in it, you will take damage from it still. And he usually lands in the middle of it. Well, so it shows up. And oh, I got another person there. I don't want to cut off. Oh, definitely lagging. These things are. What the? That's a lag or something. No, oh, no, no. I need to be healed. I need to get back on my pet. And I need to run because this will kill me. Yeah, I'm exp that's one of the things I found. The longer. That guy's in the middle. He's toast. Boom, the dragon landed on him. Yeah, even three of us. Looks like we're not doing too good with this guy. And up.
Here comes somebody else. Oh no, that's somebody who came back from being clobbered. Now they have the rabbit mount. They are through with the battle pass, apparently. Oh my gosh. Yeah, see how laggy it is. Yeah, we're gonna fail due to lag. Yeah. Well, I have done it with three. So, PC. Oh, shoot, I forgot about his tail. He look, when he looks back, he's about to swat his tail. We don't finish him off pretty soon. It's over. Son of Ignis. Son of Ignis? That means Ignis is worse. The guy likes being out there in the middle, doesn't he? Oh, he's about to blow. Watch out. Yeah, fail. Fail the army here. Well, ran out of time, and the other event that's over there is on its way.